Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> totally cracked my my voice on that one, family. How's it going? It's Monday, 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 Monday. And I'm back, family. I am back and I am ready to go. I've been gone for a while, family. I had two weeks off. I had deadlines, I had proposals due, and I also had um, some family visiting from Bombay last week. It was awesome. Shout out to my brother, VJ. We love you and can't wait to meet your better half. Also family, better news, better news. My amazing starry was found. Starry, starry was found. I'm so excited, family. Starry did make it home. I had put up rewards. Starry made it home. I'm so happy. Thank you to my beautiful, wonderful niece. She actually made Starry. Starry, my niece made Starry. Literally, family, crocheted beautiful starry so starry and i are going to go on many adventures family this coyote is so happy my beloved starry came home we found her um actually uncle neil had packed her <laughs> don't forget family this coyote is on a mission from my ancestors to transform this world family i have crippling and let me be completely honest i have crippling anxiety ptsd um and depression family it takes a lot for this coyote to get up in the morning and be super. I am not kidding. I was sick a couple times last week, family. I have a video I'm going to upload later, but I was sick three times last week. I had mad anxiety attacks, no deadlines, nothing, family. I just had anxiety. And you know what? That's okay. If you have PTSD like this coyote, we walk through this world slightly differently, family. And you know what? Panic attacks are going to affect you. If you have anxiety and PTSD like this coyote, when we get triggered, when we're put in stressful situations, even when we're on our downtime family, but thinking about the future, it can produce anxiety and it can make us sick because our bodies literally react to the environment we're in family. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So family, I am a medical marijuana research advocate and revolutionary. <laughs> this is my doctoral dissertation project. I am from the Pueblo Vasleta family. There are not very many indigenous people in academia, and I am here to represent my people, my tribe, my Pueblo, and other people like myself who are two-spirited and walk through this world. I have a male self family and I have a female self, but I'll be honest, yoga is female dress territory. <laughs> so join me here every weekday family to do a little yoga on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays family. We do chair yoga for our elders. Um, Monday, it's going to be chair, elder, chair yoga. Wednesday, it's going to be wheelchair yoga. Friday, oh no, Friday is office break. When Friday, no, Friday is a... Uh, yeah, Friday is wheelchair yoga, and Wednesday is office break yoga. So three types of chair yoga for elders on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, family, we're going to do floor yoga, floor yoga, floor yoga. And we're going to stretch, stretch. <laughs> I'm just saying, family, join me for a little exercise. What's 15 minutes? What's 20 minutes a day? I'll be honest, family. This coyote's also trying to get up earlier. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. It's so hard to get up early in the morning. If you're like this coyote, I am a night owl, family. Night owl. Not morning person, night owl. So I'm trying to learn how to adult and get up every morning at six o'clock. It's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. And I tell you, I didn't make it this morning. <laughs> so let's try it again tomorrow. All right, family. Let's get started with our yoga. Let's get started with our yoga. I can't wait. Let's do our yoga for seniors. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a nut. I know. Let's do this. One more hit, family. One more hit. All right, my friends. Thank you for choosing this practice. Let's begin. Sit up nice and tall. You want to get to where your feet are firmly planted on the floor, so your whole foot's on the ground. And if, if that's not happening for you, then you can bring some pillows or some blankets or just find something, get creative to bring 
uh, the earth up to your feet. So you can pause the video and do that. And then if you're leaning back in your chair, go ahead and sit up tall. We'll start to just slowly activate the muscles that help us find length up through the spine. So inhale, lengthen through the crown. Imagine a little marionette string just pulling you up from the crown. And let your hands just rest gently wherever is natural, on the knees, on the thighs. Then inhale deeply as you lift your heart. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down your back body. So you're just bringing more awareness and more integrity into the body, but specifically to this line of the spine, right? This plumb line, this center channel. There's all of these meridians of energy, or in yoga we call them the nadis. Um, not naughty, but naughty. And they run through the spine, right? Sometimes we refer to the major points as chakras, but whatever, whatever you want to rock in your mind and in your body, we're just going to take some time to breathe, to slow it down and find mobility in a way that's soft and gentle, but also really supportive and beneficial. So when you're ready, we'll start with the soles of the feet. Lift the toes, press all four corners of the feet down and lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. And one more time, lift the toes, spread the toes and release. Great, lift the heels one at a time. And then feel that tone, that engagement of the quad. Lift the heels, keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Lift your heart. Open your mind to a new experience. And then lower the heels. Here we go. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, lift the heels. Sit up nice and tall and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the heels. And exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift the heels and exhale, lower. Awesome. Inhale, extend right leg out just as much as you can. So you don't have to come the full extension unless it goes there, then great. But just bring it up as much as you can. We're engaging our muscles here. So draw the navel in and up a bit. And you're just going to spread the toes here, flex the foot, and then point the foot. Flex and point. It's all connected. One moving part, flex and point, flex and point two more times flex and point flex it up nice and tall and point and now here we go rotating big circles here as you bring it down one way and then the other cool other side extend the left leg out so find your extension today engage muscles of the core to support the back sit up nice and tall here we go flex and point Flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. One more time, flex and point, and then rotating circles as you bring it down, rotate the ankle one way and then the other, and then your foot comes down to the ground. Awesome, okay, here we go. Interlace the fingertips. You're gonna grab the right knee and slowly squeeze and lift. So imagine that femur bone, we're kind of squeezing everything in. You can use the chair to ground down and then lift up here. So we're not here, but we're doing our best to lift up through the armpit chest and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so everyone's will be a little bit different here. If you can't quite squeeze, you can bring a little towel, like a dish towel even, to be extensions of your arms here and hold it here. Squeeze. And then one more breath here, squeezing and lifting. And then take that right chin and you're going to cross it over the top of the left thigh Then flex your right foot here. Bring your left hand to the outer edge of your right foot if you can, and then bring your right hand to the top of your right thigh and we create this figure four here and then sit up nice and tall. Now, if you want to deepen this and you're practicing with me and you want a little more, you can bring it to the elbow crease here and lift the leg up. Okay, but there's really no need to push it. Great. One more breath. Fabulous. We're going to come back to the squeeze. So interlace the fingertips around your right knee. Squeeze. Then we're going to 
slowly extend the right leg out long. So you're gonna slide your hands now to the back, to the, to the hamstring, to the back of the leg and extend it out super long, 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 and then bring it all the way down. Fabulous, other side, interlace. Here we go, left knee squeezes in and up. Couple yummy breath cycles here. So you really gotta bring the breath, squeeze and lift. working where you are today, appreciating your body and all its glory, all its beauty, all its limitations. Be thankful for this body that you have. It's the only one you got. So it's never too late to instill this relationship of kindness and love with your body. When you're ready, we're gonna squeeze and lift one more breath and then we'll flex the foot and cross it over. Creating that figure four shape on the other side, grab your foot. And then left hand is gonna come down to just gently guide the top of the thigh bone there around and down. So I've been practicing yoga for a long time and, and the benefits are really wonderful. So I'm able to sit up tall here. But I just wanna honor and recognize and let you know if, if you're finding that you're sweating a little bit here, just sitting up tall, you can one, rest in the chair, or use your breath, inhale, breathe into your belly, and exhale, relax your shoulders to slowly start to build more stability right around this spinal column. So you can sit up tall and have a posture that isn't causing pain. A conscious posture. Take one more breath wherever you are here. Something that's sustainable, sustainable posture. Cool, then interlace the fingertips, come back to the squeeze, the big squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then slide, interlace fingertips behind, slide them behind, and when you're ready, extend your extension, extend the left leg as long as you can, inhale, and exhale, slowly lower down. Beautiful. Hands are gonna come back to the tops of the thighs, resituate, reset with a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful. Right hand comes to the outer left thigh. And you're gonna bring your left fingertips either to the back of the chair, or maybe you swing it all the way around. You're just gonna find a little gentle twist here. You can come up onto the toes if you like for a little more leverage. Breathing deep. Imagine your inhale really traveling down to your belly. So we're not breathing up, but we're breathing down. And then come back to center, take it to the other side, nice and slow. Twist, release, flushing the body. And if you really want the benefits of a twist, use that directional breath, right? Don't breathe up, but breathe in that breath all the way down. Cool beans. Bring it back to center. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze and lift. And release. One more time. And release. Awesome work. Drop the chin to the chest. Stay here, breathing deep. Wrap the shoulder blades around the back body. So really firm the shoulder blades behind your heart space. And then inhale, lift the chin parallel to the earth again. And exhale, left ear over left shoulder. Stay here, breathe deep. Great, inhale back up to center. Exhale, right ear over right shoulder. Tag a little weight in the elbows here, my friends. Breathe deep. Awesome, inhale, come back up to center. Here we go. We're gonna slowly bring the feet over towards the right of the chair. And then you're gonna bring your right foot, we're going into warrior two, a supported warrior two. You can bring your right foot firmly to the ground, front knee over front ankle. And then you're gonna use your core strength. So think up, draw the energy up, navel draws in and up. 
to slowly walk, and you can also use your hand on the chair to slowly walk your foot out, turn the left toes in, and then slide back so your hamstring is supported here, Virabhadrasana 2 with the chair. And then just stay here, feel it out, really drop your center, turn the left toes in, and then you can stay here with hands on the chair, breathing deep, pull that right hip crease back, so that squeeze move we did here, imagine that, and then hands can stay on the chair, or maybe we send the fingertips out, really working from the ground up here, lifting the chest. Now, if this is not if this is not available to you, then so if, if you're here, then breathe deep directional breath, then you're just going to bring one foot forward, kind of creating a right angle, and then the right foot to the side. So one foot forward, one to the side, and work here. So wherever you are, directional breath, breathing deep, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Think about lifting all four sides of the torso here. So the front, the back, and both side bodies, nice and long. Take one more breath, you got this. I know the arms are tired, you got this. And then exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Make your way back to center. Use your feet on the earth to come all the way back. So stay connected to the ground. Great, let's try the other side, really nice work. So we'll walk the, so we'll release the hands. We'll walk the feet towards the left. Just check it out. Plant the left foot firmly and then start to walk the right foot back. You can use the chair to guide you. Turn the right toes in, really press into the outer edge of that back foot. And then use the chair to really support the belly of the hamstring here. And then open up through the hips. Lift and lengthen all four sides of the torso. Maybe you keep the hands down or maybe you send the fingertips out. If you feel good there, stay there. Or maybe you bring the foot back and this is better for you, creating this 90 degree angle with the tops of the thigh bones and breathing deep. Okay, inhale, lots of love in, love your body. Love this life, explore space. So reach way beyond the fingertips here energy way out beyond the physical posture. Notice where you might be gripping or holding, soften. And we'll take one more breath. Breathing really down, down, down into the belly. And then exhaling, hands to heart work. Here we go. Use the toes, feet on the ground to come back to center. Take your time. Take your time. Wonderful. Then walk um, your bum just a little bit closer to the edge than we had before. We'll inhale, sit up nice and tall, release the hands, and then keep this upward current of energy. Think up and over. So actually imagine you were holding a beach ball here at your belly. So you have big, big, ball here and you're going to go up and over into a forward fold nice and slow when you're ready the spine starts to round you can release the fingertips wherever it feels comfortable and you're going to bring your head towards your knees now you might just get this far you might stay up pretty tall you might need to make adjustments with where you're sitting on the chair you want to get to a place where you can take some solid delicious Feel good, let go breaths. And as you inhale in here, my friends, feel the skin of the back body stretch. Can you experiment with that? Can you feel the rise and the fall? Let the breath move you. Take one more cycle of breath, let it be full. And then first bring the hands up to the thighs, then plant the feet firmly, really feel the feet pressing into the earth as you tuck the chin and slowly roll it up. 
And then as you roll it up, feel that flush of energy, the blood flow opposite direction. And if you need to, if that was a, a big move for you, you can bring the hands to the chair for a little more stability, a little grounding. In case you got a little dizzy or a little head rush. Great, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Again, inhale in through the nose, come on. Exhale, let something go. And one more time, let's sigh it out. Inhale with sound. Wonderful, open your eyes. Take a little moment to just notice how you feel. Tap into a little inner smile, maybe even lift the corners of your mouth slightly. Then we'll bring the hands together at the heart to seal our practice. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy with me and the rest of the community, everyone practicing with you through this video. Let us know how. What are we ready for? It's Monday and we did our morning yoga family. We did chair yoga for elders. I am so proud of us. Yes, 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 yes. Guess what, family? When you feel better, it helps you tackle your day. Believe this coyote. I have anxiety, PTSD, and crippling, crippling, crippling panic attacks, family. So it takes a lot for this coyote to get out in the morning. I had three, no less than three days last week when I was sick, family, and I was on vacation. So take it from this coyote. It is not us that is crazy. It is this world, these inhumane circumstances. It is COVID, it is white supremacy, it is capitalism. It's the ramifications of slavery and Indian boarding schools. I'm just saying, family, colonization, our history, all of our lives are still being greatly affected. So please remember to be kind to yourself and to each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, family, don't forget that this coyote is a published author, an Ivy League graduate, um, a doctoral candidate, family, almost done with that PhD, almost done with that PhD. But I am also a medical marijuana user researcher and activist. On top of that family, I also take care of my spiritual family by being a spiritual leader. <coughs> my original critical race theory, walking as coyote says that we have to step up during times of need family to be leaders of all of our peoples. If COVID is not an extraordinary time of need family, then this coyote does not know what it is. So join me, let us take care of our minds, our bodies, our spirits and always be connected to the land family this coyote takes care of my community and my fellow human beings and that is my dedication to mother earth join me family it is monday and in coyote's lodge house of spirituality critical race theory medical marijuana well we pray we are not praying to our god this is not a religion family or rather it is a house of spirituality in which we are connecting with our ancestors we are connecting with our family and we are asking them for their blessings and guidance as we continue to do honor to their name yeah me it's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild i know i'm an hour late today <laughs> this is supposed to be seven o'clock family it's 8 30 now that's okay family we get there when we get there yeah me it's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild <laughs> I know, I have been up to no good. Just kidding, Gammy. Always fighting injustice in your name. Today is Monday, Gammy. Monday, Monday, Monday. And we're asking for your guidance and blessings as we tackle new challenges. And today's very special prayer is for new beginnings. Blessings for new beginnings, Gammy. It's a brand new week. Maybe you're starting a new job. Maybe there's a new adventure. Maybe there's a new baby. The world keeps on going, family. And this coyote is filled with hope. Dear Gammy, as our new adventures and new opportunities and new beginnings start on this Monday, send us your blessings and allow us to be courageous. You are my first example of a warrior woman, get me. And you showed me what was possible through strength, through will, through community, and through love. Send us your blessings and guidance as we continue to do honor to your name. 
Papa. Now my Papa family. He was everything kindness and loving. He always had a tortilla, some breakfast. Maybe we'll go hide from Gammy in the fields. <laughs> my Papa knew how to create community and to be a supportive, loving ear. He listened to us. He listened to our woes and he gave us hope and he told us that the end, everything would be okay. Papa, as all of our family around the world tackles new beginnings today on this brand new Monday, send us strength, send us love, and send us community. May we find those spaces and people who are going to lift us up and love us, Papa. I love you. May you rest in peace. And to my great great grandpa Pablo Beta, true revolutionary and a Sledo Pueblo statesman, and to all my aunties, uncles, and gammies, papas, cousins, and those who have gone before us. Send us your blessings as we embrace brand new beginnings and continue to do honor to all of your names. We are your children, grandchildren, and great great grandchildren here to do honor and to celebrate our lives. Help us to continue to thrive despite COVID. May you all rest in peace. Sorry, family. It is Monday, which means the emails are coming in. People are getting to work and brand new opportunities are coming, family. This coyote has hope in my heart. I am off to go cause trouble somewhere else. But don't forget to join me here now, family. Every weekday, we got our yoga. I'm going to try for seven, family. I'm going to try for seven and then we got our prayer but don't forget i'm always here adventuring with you all <laughs> i love you off to cause trouble somewhere else probably at brazilian jiu-jitsu jiu <laughs> love you <laughs>